Good morning, or at least it's morning here. May not be morning when you watch this. Just wanted to give some updates. This morning, my mom gave me a phone call just as I was starting my coffee. And it turned out that sometime in the middle of last night, she had fallen and was not able to get back up. Seriously. And uh, instead of calling 911 like she should have, she waited until morning until she knew I would be up and then called me. Of course, I made sure 911 is called. <laughs> so she's in the hospital and I'm waiting word. I doubt if she broke anything. I think she would have been in a lot more pain if she had. Um, I know there's been a tremendous delay on my Yahweh Clan series. I apologize for that. For each one of those 10 minute videos, I have anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour of video that I have to pare down. And this fourth episode is really killing me. <laughs> I start these things out saying, you know, I'm going to begin here and I want to end here. And somehow or other, I have to get from here to there in 10 minutes. <clears throat> so, and this, uh, the business of narrating over screenshots is more intricate than you might think, too. And more time consuming. But uh, the, most of it is shot. I may have to do a little reshooting, which is always a pain. And I, I do have it in the editing program. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's difficult. Oh, the book by Costava that I recommended in my last video uh, was a little bit of a letdown at the end. Uh, I still recommend it. It was a good book. She does lose a little of the flavor of her sentences as she gets further along in the book. I think it became too difficult to keep up the incredible imagery with which she began it and it's not an action book if that's what you're looking for then no, don't don't bother it's not an action book it's all the intricate details of research and when the climax comes in a book that's about 600 pages long the entire climactic sequence takes about two pages I wouldn't call it a letdown it's probably pretty realistic considering the genre but still if it's if what you're looking for is uh, one of the uh, Robert Ludlum type thrillers this isn't for you also since my last video I finally after all these years and hearing about it all my life I actually read The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger of all the so-called great novels I've read over the years, this one stands out as simply undeserving of that appellation. I'm sorry. I really have no idea why people think this is a great novel. It's uh, just a collection of teenage angst that is familiar to anyone that was ever a teenager. <laughs> so. I don't have a clue. It's not the worst novel I ever read, obviously, but uh, it doesn't have anything in particular to re recommend it. And it's, I was frankly bored throughout, right up to the ending. So anyway, I, as I said, I'm waiting for my mother to call from the hospital and let me know what's up. And uh, that'll about do it for this video.